Hello, my name is John Winkle, and I am a fifth grade teacher here at Gwendor Elementary School. What we were doing yesterday is we were examining three different cities in the United States. We were looking at California, we were looking at Colorado, and we were looking out in St. Louis, Missouri. And we were looking at temperature differences across those three cities. The orange line is St. Louis, Missouri, and the brown line here is San Francisco. Students noticed that out here in California, the temperatures tend to be cooler longer, and it takes longer for that city, San Francisco, to heat up during the summertime. And so we first looked at that information and got the students really thinking about why there would be such different temperatures when we're talking about the same degree latitude across the United States. What the students did is they first started out making predictions on what impact they thought soil and water would have on weather. Then what we did is we took soil and water and lamps that simulated the sun and we examined the temperature change of soil and water over the course of 20 minutes. We heated the water and then we cooled the water and soil to see what kind of temperature differences we would have. At the end of the investigation, what we did is we looked back at our data and we confirmed our predictions on you know, what, what the soil and water did in the investigation. The soil is going up, now it's going down. The water is still going up. That's interesting. Yep. And then what we're going to do is we're going to branch this into math and we're going to talk about the mean, median, and mode. And we're going to compare data and come up with the average for the class. That way students know whether their data was on par with the rest of the class or if their data was way off. The water went up and down okay. and um, the soil went up and down while going. Well while it was cooling? cooling? Yeah. The really cool thing about our science kits is they all come pre-packaged from the district and so all the materials that we need, today we're working with soil, water and thermometers and cups, that all comes pre-packaged in a nice little kit. All you have to do is open up the kit. All the, inf all the stuff that you need for the entire unit is packaged in the kit. If you need anything else, all you have to do is contact the district. They're able to send that down. It's not, not really decreasing at all. Hands-on learning is especially important in the elementary school because science is one of those skills that really is being neglected, I believe, across the United States. And so by actually getting your hands on the material and working with the material, students are able to internalize it better. They're able to actually see what you're talking about. You're not just talking on a board or, you know, out of a book. And it really gets the students engaged in the learning. And I think that's key, especially when we talk about the importance of science in the elementary school curriculum. What do you notice about that sand when you're out there walking across the beach? I know what I, I when I'm out there in August walking across the beach, I know what my, my feet are telling me. Megan? The sand's a lot hotter, is that true, Matt? Yeah, the sand's really hot. Then you get over to the water, what about the water? It feels cold, right? For all these stories and more, visit nptv.npen.org.